when I saw this denim the first time, it was just for me like a mythos, a cult, a little bit also feet, fetish. It's it was like a the puts a, I could find a sort of identity of my personality in the denim. It reflected to me the sort of protest, revolution, revolution, and everything. So uh, uh, at that time I was just a young uh, person, a little bit uh, shy, and I always wanted to be a, uh, a little hero as well, like James Dean or whatever. If you have some pants worn by the same person, this was from a cowboy in the United States from the 80s, so you see the strong fading from horse riding, and you can see also uh, if you check them out, they have uh, all the same uh, fading structure. So I have four pairs of jeans from this man. Crazy, it's one of the most common clothes you have. It's about almost two billions of jeans are produced annually, but uh, there is no real museum about this. Of course, it's just a daily product, it's not a, something special, but uh, it's, there are so many stories behind this topic, uh, so I try at least with this little museum uh, to uh, inform the people or, or peop that people can have a possibility, they, they can get some information in, in their reality, because on the internet, on the web, you have millions of nice pictures of fadings and whatever, but here visitors can feel the, the, the real Rodenim stuff, the heavy use um, stuff, and uh, I also had some visitors, they really even wanted, wanted to try on some. And uh, I also want to uh, search then, uh, for a bigger room that we can, uh, together with some sponsoring, that we can uh, realize this project. But it, it takes a lot of work, of course, because just for the preparation for the inventory, it took us uh, over half a year, and now we are ready, and we will just start now, sorting out the stuff, because many of the boxes, of those boxes, I never had uh, seen the, what's inside of them since 20, 25 years, so uh, I will be surprised what's coming out <laughs> of these boxes. We only have pre-sorted now 2,000 of the 12,000 items. It doesn't matter if it's my jeans or if it's another person's jeans. It's more interesting for me uh, if the jeans was worn over many uh, years or um, uh, best if never washed. So it's just natural fadings put in them. So it's not the main topic to have uh, very dirty or ugly jeans, but uh, with washing uh, uh, the natural fading structure is uh, a little bit uh, uh, destroyed or uh, is not so strong visible anymore. And also the original indigo color changes to the normal royal blue color. Jeans or denim jacket worn a long time over years from the same person reflects a part of this person's life and lifestyle. So uh, this is very important for me and I always like to see uh, the denim evolution over the years. They have made a fascinating uh, development. First started as a work clothes, then for uh, leisure in, in the 20s and 30s for, the, for uh, people from the east uh, side of the United States, New York and so on and they went on holidays to the dude ranches in California or other western areas and later changed to a, a protest cult symbol with music and a movie like James Dean and whatever. Now of course I'm just a completely raw denim addict so I don't think it will be ever over. <laughs> so it's just keeps me alive. It's one of my big passions be, beside the high mountains and running, mount, doing mountain races or the nature.
but uh, rodenim is one of my main passions I have. <laughs>